Hello and welcome to the new video, fly over here and today we are at, uh, is it fifth leg already? I believe it is already fifth leg of our world tour and as you can see we are at airport Bangkok and we have some traffic uh, nearby so you can see they landed on uh, two different runways we anyway need to wait them to move but uh, we have a lot of work to do before we can even start so let's get on job as soon as possible so first of all i'm gonna check the fuel fuel we have uh, it's 50 percent that is more than enough i believe so look there is aircraft taking off or landing i believe it's landing it's a lot of traffic look at another one. Oh, that one going around because this one is not yet oh this one is already vacated then this one going around because of oh he wanted to land on the another runaway on the left one yes so cool so cool to just sit here and watch the traffic it's so interesting anyway let's go to the business <laughs> Okay, today we're gonna fly from Bangkok to uh, Davei. Davei is a small place just across the border to the Myanmar. So actually today we are finally leaving Thailand, saying goodbye to Thailand and flying to the west. So we will cross into Myanmar and then we will fly maybe two three legs in Myanmar and then we're gonna cross to India, then to Bangladesh, then to India again and uh, then we will be in india all the way until ha huh, somewhere when we cross to united arab Air emirates i believe because that's the way how i'm going to fly but we will see that may change yet nothing is for sure okay so let's go uh, let's bring our checklists uh, pre-flight exterior already done pre-flight interior parking brake set gear selector check down yes avionics off mixture is lean magnetos is off battery switch let's start to on let's check the fuel fuel is good okay check check annunciator panel check check battery switch off off uh, flight controls free and correct. Let's check the flight controls. Let's look here and let's see. Yes, they are free. And let's look on another side. Yes, definitely free and working. Uh, let's check the. Oh, rather we cannot see, but we can see this one. Yes. They are working. Okay, and rudder, rudder is free and can be moved. So, actually, all flight controls are good. Flaps, yeah, let's check flaps. Let's see. So, flap one, flap two, flap three. They are good. Perfect. Flaps, check. Elevator trim to neutral. Okay, let's see. It is. Indeed, it is neutral. Okay. So actually, that is interior check done. Like I said, exterior check is already done. So we don't have to uh, do anything. Beside, close the door. So let's close the door. Let's lock them and uh, we can open this small window just for the sake of the fresh air and uh, let's check the circuit breakers yeah all good looks like alternate air is off prop rpm lever to the max rpm done Fuel selector to the fullest tank. Let's start with the left one. And that is cool. Okay. Let's remove the throttle. Or the throttle. The yoke. 
and let's set up for the engine start let's say like this a little bit of throttle like one one and a half inch something like that uh done battery switch yeah battery switch done alternator done uh beacon navigational lights all right done so we can check all of this i'm not sure why uh this checklist doesn't advance automatically fuel pump low or use primer button we're gonna use primer button so first we need to put mixture to reach let's use primer just for a few seconds and let's lower down mixture a little bit so that is done mixture reach until flow peaks then low down okay done propeller clear let's check it out it's clear all right and we can start our ignition and let's set up uh, the throttle to about 1500 rpm something like that Fifteen hundred. That's cool. We can now close the window, of course, because it's loud and noisy, and we don't have to scream "clear prop" anymore. Okay, so propeller clear, ignition start, mixture is rich when engine start. We have successful start. Okay, magnetos are on boat. Throttle at fifteen hundred. Okay, oil pressure. Oil pressure. Uh, in green oh not that one see it doesn't want to advance i don't know why so everything done we are good to taxi uh let's start our avionic first landing lights on we can already start uh, anti-collision lights and let's start our uh avionics all of them let's start our dme so avionics on radio set let's set the radius okay our first uh, vor will be the bangkok vor actually and bangkok vor is 117 decimal 7 so i'm gonna tune 117 decimal 7 here at our vor and also uh here we're gonna tune one to two decimal eight which is unicom frequency okay so one one seven decimal seven and we already have it here so our radios are set transponder is at on and set altimeter yeah let's check the air pressure it is 1009 let's set up that too 1009 the 1010 and the one less will be like 1009 let's set up uh, on this side too even like i said i never use this one but let's just set it for any case case we need it okay heading indicator we need to set to our runaway heading of 209 so let's set what did i say 209 <coughs> i'm sorry so we have here uh 210 and 209 will be just one degree less so somewhere around here <clears throat> okay and our uh, course for today's flight first course is going to be 294 so let's set up our uh, our course to 294 294 
it's going to be like this is this is three zero zero but this is two nine five and two nine four something like that something like that say so we are now good to go looks like let's uh check all the things in the taxi area clear parking brake release brakes we're gonna test while we uh taxing and that is going to be our checklist for now and then we're gonna do run-up procedure when we are at the almost at the runaway so let's just taxi first actually before we taxi let me just connect to the my ACARS programs and also start flight so I have logged everything I'm logging every of those flights because I like to have archive archive and also uh, I uh, I am flying for one virtual company so all these flights is counted for me there so it is cool uh, we can also set up the, our second VOR in the uh, NAV2. So let's just set up that VOR. It is 114.5. So 114.5. Let's set it up. Uh, it's not visible yet, but it's going to be as soon as we take off. Uh, we're going to switch to that VOR up. Just for now, I want to see when it became, become active, right? Okay, so uh, let's not delay anymore. Let's just start taxing. So release the brakes and let's just taxi out. I don't know why they put those people so close to the aircraft so you cannot taxi out. That is very stupid. And also what I notice on this uh, airport uh, is that different vehicles uh, like uh, trucks and cars actually driving on the on the taxiway which is totally unacceptable you asking me okay let me just what did I do actually is I uh, I have installed the rudder pedals turn the, this one to on and let's just stop here like this up the wind all right and pull our brake and we can do our run-up procedure so parking brake set uh, mixture to reach yes uh, max RPM, yes. Throttle set to 2000 RPM. Let's set up to 2000 RPM. All right, all right. Something like this. All right, let's check magnetos first. If I switch to this magneto. Do we have drop? Yes, we do. Okay, put it back. And also let's switch to another magneto. Do we have drop? Yes. Okay, let's switch to both. So magnetos are good. Uh, vacuum gauge looking good. Oil press and oil press and temperature. Let's check it out. Temperature is rising because we are. Uh, at 2000 rpm pressure is good so that one can check m meter can check yes good okay annunciators again test good exercise prop we want exercise prop because it takes too long to exercise because it takes so long to uh, return back to the 2000 rpm so i'm not going to do it alternate air is off uh, boost pump is off 
fuel pressure looking good engine idle okay let's check engine idle it should be around 600 to 650 i know it oh, i already know it's gonna be somewhere around 700 seven that's how it is on this aircraft and i cannot change that uh and then adjust to 1200 rpm throttle okay put it to 1200 something like this that is cool all right so before takeoff checklist battery switch is on alternator on strobe lights on landing light on boost pump pump off fuel selector done engine gauges checked mixture rich max rpm we don't need flaps trims is set we don't need trim and cabin door is closed and latched so parking brake we're gonna release throttle set for takeoff maintain axis yes okay everything good we can check all of these things because we're gonna do it and then we're gonna come back for climb all right so this aircraft has just vacated the runway so what i'm going to do is i am going to uh, line up and take off let's just go we just check one more time in case that Somebody is landing. Nope, nobody is landing. So we can just set up ourselves here. And what we can do, and just line up. And uh, Let's press the brake. Let's advance our throttle to the 40 inches of mercury and slowly take off. And I don't know why always something pushing me to the... This is already a few times that something very strong pushing me to the right. And what I believe it is a wind, but I cannot swear what it is. This is already second airport where uh, something strongly pushing me to the right instead of to the left. Very weird. I don't know. Does it have anything with the Microsoft update or what? But usually when I'm taking off, it push me to the right uh, sorry it pushed me to the left so I don't know why now something uh, pushing me to the right yeah I mess up okay <laughs> don't listen to me I started to babble all right let's uh, let's make a turn and uh, we're gonna climb to uh, 6,000 feet today. And also let's catch up with the course, which is almost there. We just pass it. So let's just set a course around 45 degrees or less let's slowly capture the the course and also what we're gonna do is i don't know why trimming is so difficult on this airplane it is super difficult let me just switch to the omni mode and turn on autopilot because we have already uh, needle active 
and why trimming is so difficult. One friend told me that they usually don't even try to trim Piper, they just uh, hold it by hand, but I cannot because I don't have yoke, I have stick and uh, this this particular airplane is super difficult to fly uh, with the stick so yeah I'm doing my best until I buy the yoke but yeah I'm gonna buy it sooner or later uh, let's just uh, set up our heading bug to our present course something like this because as you can see we have already active that uh, we have already active that uh, second VOR so we're gonna uh, tune that but I'm gonna switch to the heading mode and then tune here uh, 114 decimal 5 114 decimal 5 and then I'm gonna switch back to Omni mode and let the autopilot do his job and uh, as you can see about climb we are actually not climbing because I didn't even bother to trim uh, to level off <laughs> it's just level off by itself it's very weird actually that's why I'm using that altitude hold because it is super super difficult to trim this aircraft actually it is really really super difficult to trim I don't want to go uh, too steep up like uh, but we should be around 100 knots climb however we can even do it a little bit less so yeah we are 33.5 uh, miles away from our second VOR and and uh, what we can do while we're climbing, we can actually tune our third VOR, which is going to be already Dave VOR, and that one is 112 decimal zero. So let's tune 112 decimal zero like this 112 decimal zero, and we're gonna see when it becomes active, but nothing for now, of course. And why we flying at 6,000 feet? Because uh, at the border between Thailand and Myanmar, uh, there is uh, some mountain, and uh, the minimum safe altitude is actually 4,500 feet. So I decided to climb at 6,000, which is totally fine. But that one is still far away from us. We are climbing, we are at the 3000 feet, I think I will try to trim it for a little bit steeper climb, let's say something like 1000, so we can lose some speed but we will climb faster and then after we climb we can actually uh, do our things but let's uh, do this Bring gear up flaps up flaps up airspeed best rate accelerate to 97 okay mixture reach prop speed 2575 so let's uh, 2575 it is it is that is climb thrust that is climb uh, rpm so uh, we don't do that uh, manifold pressure do not exceed 41 we are not we are even at 35 we can even increase our manifold pressure actually now for the mo for the sake of the climb right uh, we are now at 4000 and almost 300 feet climbing slowly and that's it okay manifold pressure air speeds okay uh, boost pump we didn't use okay landing light they can go off elevator trim is set so next checklist will be cruise when we arrive at the cruise altitude which like i said it's gonna be 6000 feet
but what we can do we can actually uh, set the temperature temperature is around 18 degrees as we can see so let's set up 18 uh, degrees and uh, 6,000 feet so that's going to be something like this and we have speed about uh, 145 knots which is totally cool that is totally cool we have a little bit of wind as you can see that autopilot is actually uh, crabbing a little bit but not much it's not strong wind but we have a little bit of wind from the from the left that will be from the south that means warm wind no worry there is no cold here okay so 5500 feet let's uh, slow down our ascent now Lovely climb to 6,000 feet. hold and it will always jump up I don't know why it always jump up a little bit but <laughs> that's weird because it's not actually autopilot function it's just here for the convenience of the flight and now we can bring up our uh, our uh, cruise checklist and let's set up first uh, mixture is rich at the moment let's set up our uh, prop to let's say 2450 something like this manifold pressure to 33 inch so it's something like here let's say something like here yes that is uh, okay manifold airspeed is good uh, we don't need fuel pump so that's cruise climb and now cruise throttle max of 75 which is propeller rpm as required we are just good so mixture let's lean the mixture let's lean the mixture let's check these EGT numbers and let's try to lean the mixture so we are looking for the peak in this needle go further let's go further all right that is going to be a peak and we are going to go a little bit less than that peak so we are good and let's check our fuel consumption now yes it is around uh, well, let's say around 12 gallons 13 gallons per hour which is fine let's say it's fine but that's why our speed is 
155 which is cool right you cannot save the fuel and uh, <laughs> go, go fast no way so that is that is not possible so you look at this we can already even uh, catch the Davai Davi uh, VOR but we are not going to uh, tune it yet we will just follow our uh, route as we already filed right okay so uh, clean the mixture trim is set fuel pump no need uh, let's check the fuel we already uh, we are on the left fuel tank and uh, we have more actually interesting we have more so yeah we're gonna just leave it until it spend more okay so this is the sand we're gonna need it later we are still very far from the descent so what is going to happen now we are 11 miles from our VOR and then we will have another uh, 100 miles so I will uh, stay with you until we come to that VOR and uh, change the course and after we change the course actually I'm gonna cut the video so until the descent and approach it will be interesting approach and descent because uh, we don't have ILS there uh, so we 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 gonna uh, probably land visually uh, but uh, we will have a localizer approach and there is only one runaway active always there on the way and that is runaway 16 so there is only one runaway only one side of the airport and that is from the north side so we're gonna land from north to the to the south right that is going to be our arrival but until we come there then i will explain actually why not i can even explain now okay this is the situation we will come we will arrive uh, from somewhere here from the east we will arrive at this uh, the way we are so we're gonna turn to the uh, to the right heading of 348 and we're gonna fly at that heading until we reach 7.5 miles and then we're gonna turn left into the heading of 156 to the VOR and then when we see the runaway we're gonna turn off the autopilot and just land manually that's how it's going to be so at the VOR we're gonna arrive at 4000 feet and then uh, during this maneuver we're gonna uh, descend to 2300 and here we're gonna descend further as required right here by the chart so that means at six miles we need to be at uh, 1800 feet and further as we go super easy it shouldn't be difficult so yeah that is our uh, approach procedure for today it shouldn't be difficult like i said but we don't know we don't know what kind of weather is gonna be there will we have a lot of clouds will we have a lot of wind or whatever we don't know at this moment as i can check the information uh, we have a uh, runaway 16 that one is always active actually with the headwind of two knots and crosswind of seven knots which is not nice actually it is not nice because crosswind of seven knots will uh, push me away from the course of the runaway and it's going to be difficult but it's okay we're gonna handle it okay 4.0 miles away from the VOR uh, let's just switch to the heading and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tune the way VOR already so 112 decimal 0 112 decimal 0 and gonna set up the course of 269 269 so 269 it's going to be uh, 
let's set it up here it's easier the 269 uh, okay this is 27 270 and 269 will be something like this but uh, as you can see we are uh, we are actually having trouble to catch that that uh, oh okay 112 decimal 0 yes we are having trouble and uh, what we're going to do now is just switch to the omni mode and uh, we should turn in our direction yeah it's me always mess up those decimals at the frequency so we don't have any more uh, any other frequencies and we are as you can see 100 miles away from that VOR so we are good to go we are nice we are sitting stable at 6000 feet and everything is good our rpm is good our fuel flow is good uh, pressure oil temperature fuel pressure everything is just good so i'm gonna bring you back when it's about to descend okay we are about 15 miles away from the airport and uh, actually as you can see we are in the mountain still i cannot start my descent but i have to very very soon as soon as we clear out these clouds in front of us because well actually we won't clear them that's the problem but uh i believe uh within next few miles like Maybe I'm gonna start my descent somewhere around 10 miles or maybe less, maybe like 7 miles before we are. I'm going to start my descent because hopefully, yeah, as soon as I clear this mountain, you can see over the top of the aircraft. As soon as I clear that mountain, actually there is a, a plane down there so yeah as soon as we pass this ridge here we will have more flat land so we will be able to start our descent so we're gonna descend to 4000 feet before the VOR uh, come well actually before we come to the VOR so yeah okay uh, we can start already uh, landing lights I am I was already tuned uh, QNH to the airport QNH of 1008 and also let me see 19 we should switch the fuel now let me see yeah we are good okay left can be uh, and now we're gonna prepare ourselves for the descent so let's slow down a little bit on the manifold let's go to like 25 and uh, we are going to descend to 4000 feet there is a little bit of wind as you can see there is a little bit of wind and also uh, situation on the airport is marginal VFR MVFR so that's the problem actually because I am afraid that we have ceiling at like okay it's actually cleared now it's actually cleared now it changed now is a complete VFR uh, so it's okay we, we, we will be good we will be good let's just descend to 4000 feet and then 8.6 miles okay uh, yeah like I said here is good and uh, we should already start in the airport but actually it's there behind the clouds so we cannot see it for real 5000 feet we're gonna see it when we descend more because clouds uh, they look to me like they are around 
5,000 for 4.5 thousand feet something like that so I believe when we descend to 4,000 feet and less uh, we won't be uh, in the clouds that's my hope and <laughs> we're gonna see that all right let's adjust our heading back to our direction and we will have to change our uh, we will have to change our course actually uh, like I said after we arrive at the VOR, we need to turn into 348. 348. Um, I'm gonna switch to heading now because we are already five miles away. So 348, uh, that is going to be like this. This is 330, 340 that is three five zero and two back that is going to be like three four eight so we are going to switch to that uh, direction that course and after that okay let me see now I believe this is the airport I cannot see yet we are now at uh, 4,000 feet so I'm going to level at this moment I'm going to level we are still in the clouds hopefully when we descend to 2,000 feet we won't be in the clouds anymore let's see 3.2 miles from the from the VOR all right uh, let's go out let's see actually what situation is there yeah I believe this is the airport here but much we can see at this moment because everything is in clouds horrible right <laughs> yeah horrible it's fine it's fine so 2.2 uh, 2.1 uh, I am going to actually make a little bit artificial turn with my heading like 1.5 miles so what we are gonna do is we're gonna turn like this we're gonna follow this river I believe and yeah we will come from across the river and uh, catch our course to the runway there is a uh, low clouds but it's not that bad uh, now we need to carefully monitor this needle as soon as it start moving I need to switch to the Omni mode and then we need to count uh, we need to count 7.5 it can be actually 8 miles it's no problem at all but 7.5 miles from the VR okay needle is active and what I'm going to do is just switch to Omni mode and also I'm gonna turn the heading as same like this so now we are flying uh, 8 miles approximately a little bit less 7 point something miles from the from the VOR and then we're gonna make turn at 156 so let's just establish the course and also what we need to do is we need to descend to 2700 I believe let me see 2300 actually 2300 okay Because before the turn we need to be at 2000 feet so what will be smart now is to well okay let's let's descend first and then I'm gonna slow down later actually I'm trying to trim down but uh, this airplane just don't want to listen it always return back to the
update. Okay, we are we have established the course. So we are good. Just what we need to be at two thousand three hundred. Airport is already at one thousand something elevation. So what I'm going to do now is switch to the heading mode, and what we need to do is set up a one five six. So one five six is going to be, hmm, let's say uh, this is one five. Let's set it up here. So. So one five and one five six something like this, uh, like this, yeah, something like this. Okay, one five six. So we're gonna do a left turn. We are now seven point eight miles. Okay. So what we're going to do is make a left turn. We are now at two thousand eight hundred feet. And what I'm going to do is just set our heading to intercept that course and we're gonna turn slowly we need to be at around 2,000 feet continue descent and as you can see we are already uh, getting close to our uh, route and I'm gonna switch to the Omni mode now and adjust our heading to the to the course like so uh, descend a little bit more that is good and there we go we can see already uh, airport we can actually see the airport already so what we need to do is slow down slow down drop our landing gear which will additionally slow us down as you can see we can already see the airport so that is good but also what I know is that we have around seven knots of the crosswind which is not nice definitely so what I'm going to do now is I will let still aircraft to adjust to the course and uh, let's slow down our descent rate to something like this What we can do now is actually uh, turn off the autopilot. What we need to do is put our mixture and our prop to full. Turn off our autopilot and uh, try to land manually right that's the point so I'm going to align with the runway 
I am a little bit low, so I am trying to... I'm trying to find proper speed. Yes, definitely we have a little bit of wind. I can feel it's pushing me off the course. I can feel it. So this is actually good glide path. We have bossy lights there and they say two white and two red. That is okay. We are going good. Let's just keep the runaway heading. A little bit more to the right. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, we, we definitely have to crab because uh, that's how it is. I'm going to lower down my gear a little, uh, throttle a little bit and uh, yeah this is very unstable approach because of those winds but we are good we are good I think we will be just good that is not good yeah that was on the edge of the runaway and I don't know why something is wrong with this uh, with this uh, with the rudder look at how much it pushing it to the right this is definitely not good I think I will have to recheck my rudder pedals because this is definitely not good. It's pushing it pushing to the right too much. It never did before. So we are landed. We have landed and we are slowly taxing to the To the taxiway we're gonna vacate here and uh, we're gonna slow down what i'm going to do is switch off the spoke set laps to zero and now we can park so where are we going to park Oh, we can park actually there in front of the main building. That is nice. I am not happy with landing. I know my friend Pavle will say same. He will say, hey, I watch your video. I'm not happy with your landing. Yeah, I know. I told him. Until I arrive in Croatia, I'm going to practice already. I'm going to be expert. So, yeah, let's park here. This looks like a nice place to the to park. So let's just park here. This is actually awesome. Look at that. Let's pull the parking brake and let's see where we are. Oh my god. It's beautiful. Look. A very beautiful small airport. I like it. Oh, I like it a lot. Actually, this is gas station. We could tank the fuel there. But... That one is fine. Yeah, it's just cute. Very cute. I like it. All right. So let's close the airplane. Uh, let's off avionics first. 
like this and like this and now we can off landing lights we can off anti-collision lights and our rotational lights now we can cut off the mixture and the props and then we can cut off the fuel and finally what we can do is off the magnetos uh reset the autopilot to zero yes cool also off the beacon and python heat alternator and the battery that is it now we are good we can open the door have some fresh air right oh my god so nice so nice and beautiful look and we have arrived thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video